There you go. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the expert launch for those that joined. And, uh, and then now we start the session for, we, we are gonna combine our recap with the next session. So um, first of all, remember to mark your attendance and remember to give us your feedback. At the end of the day, I would like to make a yet another time a clarification on the submission for yesterday that uh, for the session of going mobile configuration, you don't need to submit the screenshots about the um, refilling. Uh, so you only need to submit the first one. The exercise will look the same, but when we evaluate, we will mark the last two as pass so that they don't count on your overall uh, grade or mark. So, so I hope this is clear now for everyone. You don't have to submit the last two um, screenshots. So a quick review on submissions. We are still quite low on submissions compared to the registrations. However, the trend is quite stable. I think we are around 50, 60 participants really following the course and the rest probably only marking attendance or planning to submit everything during the weekend. <laughs> but please uh, don't forget to submit your exercises. We will uh, review everything and then during next week you will receive uh, your, your, your results. Now, what is going to happen today? Today we have, a, <clears throat> this is not updated for what happened at 9 a.m., but that's okay. <clears throat> now at 10, 10 in one minute, <clears throat> sorry, we are gonna be starting a, a session in which uh, it's not about the app and it's not about us speaking, it's actually about you. It's about you sharing, it's about you <clears throat> telling us, um, about your projects and hopefully engaging in a discussion or making questions to your colleagues or yes here in the in the academy then we will have a break and at 11 30 we will have the exam what does it mean to have the exam we are make it to make the exam we are running this academy and recording everything because some people are in other um in other time zones that cannot join, specifically America, people in American time zones is struggling a bit to join us. So it's not that we are opening the exam at this time and at 11.30 UTC plus one and closing it at 12.30. No, it's that we give you during the time of the academy one hour to complete the exam, but the exam will not disappear. It's going to be available, uh, I think, marking jump if it's not correct until Sunday as the rest of the exercises. So you can <clears throat> start and if you cannot finish, if you are busy today, if you need to do it tomorrow or you wanna take your time, you can complete it until Sunday. That's correct, Sunday night. night. Sorry? Yes, that is correct, Sunday that night. Yes, Sunday night, Sunday night UTC time, plus one, plus no time. So, and the exam is going to be a number of questions um, that are you that you have to select the correct answer, only one. And yeah, and it's about all the sessions. None of the whatever we say today is going to be evaluated. It's only for yesterday because today there is no actual content on the app and what the app does. And after that, we will have a session for closing in which we will share uh, the, the releases and roadmap plans for 2021 for the Android app. And then we will share, uh, or we will talk about the community. How can we keep in contact after this academy? How can you engage, if not already, uh, with the Android app and the DHIS2 community in general? So I don't think we need to spend more time on this. I hope everything uh, was clear. Uh, you might have more questions on the exercises, please put them in the channel. Jaime and Jose, while I speak, are, are having a look at it. But I have to remind you not to send 
direct messages to any of us because our Slack right now is like a party of notifications and we are focusing on the channel. We cannot answer your private messages uh, because also it's like, it's like you are setting yourself in a line that, that maybe only one or no one is looking at. It's better to come to the channel where we are all paying attention and picking the, the different problems to try to help you. So please continue in the channel and don't send us private messages unless you want to tell us something private. But yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm going to directly jump into the um, tell us about you session. We are going to have uh, today four presentations. Unfortunately, we had a last minute um, problem. But if, if uh, you are the last minute <laughs> person who withdrew the participation and you want to join, let us know. Uh, I don't want to say names, but let us know. And we can, meaning if we have time and you and any of you wants to share, you can tell us. And, um, and and we can try to, to allocate time for you. So the first thing we would like to do, because we have we are going to have four people, thank you very much, uh, sharing their projects. All of them have around 10 minutes to share their projects or plans. And then we will have two minutes for questions. So we are going to have Bridget and Bamoy Mohammed presenting for Sierra Leone, On Ki Min presenting for Myanmar, Abdul Rahman presenting for Afghanistan, and the Rebet Adese for Ethiopia. That's super interesting. However, we are 55 people connected here. So we would like to, I'm gonna click here. We would like to know from all of you and try to engage in a discussion, try to find similarities. So I'm going to share this link. We would like to ask you to complete this survey. I've done it myself. It took me one minute, literally. And, uh, and we would like you to, to complete this. If, you are, if your organization works in three projects with mobile, then we would like you to complete it three times because this is about one project. If you have only one, then just complete one. So I think we should have at least 57 answers. I'm going to copy it here in the channel. I'm gonna put link. Channel link. Why is this not uh, link to the survey? Yes, I'm going to put it also in this Zoom chat. But uh, hopefully, you are all in the. So can I ask you to please open the, the, the community survey? Um, I'm sorry about the notifications, I have to silence. And let us know about your projects. I'm gonna give you five minutes for that, but you only need one. No more notifications. I don't know if in this case I can display something about the answers. Please don't put anything confidential or <laughs> it's, it's, we will review the answers together, at least in the big numbers.
We are not in QA anymore, Martin. Yeah, sorry, I was looking, I think thinking back in time. I'm no not, not quite there yet <laughs> in my head. Okay, just answering questions. I don't see any responses coming in yet. I'm gonna enter mine just to practice. So these are the questions that you are gonna find. My organization, I'm gonna say Marta's org. <laughs> it's other. Country and in Spain. Okay, answers are coming in. My project domain is in health. The name is Marta's project. I'm in a planning discovery phase. One to 20 devices, personal, it's just mine. I don't share my phone. <laughs> I, I hope I don't confuse you. I'm just doing this for you to see the questions. The profile of the users is other. On the one side, the beneficiaries is just me. <laughs> and then the next question is about the use of the HIS2. So I'm in 234. Uh, let's say tracker, patients, which is me, I use the Android. Yeah, so it, it should be quite um, straightforward. We have six responses so far. Thank you very much. Oh, one is mine, so we have five. Okay, more coming in. Thank you very much. I'm going to delete my response if I can do that. Thank you, thank you. I'm quite sure you are. We have a question in the chat. Martin, thank you for sharing. Oh, I sent it in the chat directly to Milton. <laughs> thank you, Martin. No How many sites will cover each of the users? This question is not clear to me. Okay, uh, it, each of your users or the, for devices. Yes, it's more like is the device in one facility or is the health worker visiting the whole district with the device during the month or visiting more than one facility? So it's more maybe trying to understand if the device stays in one place or if the if the device travels from place to place. Thank you, George. Okay, this is growing. Thank you all. Let's give it a few more minutes.
So please, uh, if any question is not clear. Ah, how many sites organizations will each of your users cover? Ah, okay, that's how it should be written. George? Okay, we can do that, thank you. I don't know if I can do that live. Thank you. So in theory, I just changed it. All right, edit my response. Yay, yes, thank you, George. If you are not implementing any project, thank you, Milton, for the question, but you plan to implement one, you can also, or you are thinking of, you can also, um, because one of the questions is in which phase is your project, discovery or pilot or planning. So if you are joining this academy because your organization or work is in an exploratory mode for any kind of project, you can also complete it, just saying that you are in discovery planning phase. Marta, I think that there is a question regarding the beneficiaries. Uh, that yes, ah, sorry, I didn't see. Thank you, Jose. Rough estimation of beneficiaries. The beneficiaries are your patients or the population that will, uh, in the end, be targeted by your project. This is sometimes very broad and sometimes not clear. So that's why it's not mandatory and it's asking for a rough estimation. It's more like the targeted population of your intervention. So that was better than Albert asking. So hopefully, and this is again for it, it should be part of your initiation project, right? If you are exploring, or it, it's a it's a number that is very difficult to have. So it's it's not mandatory, but it's actually one of the questions that we are that we receive many times. Yeah, uh, we're, we're, yeah, we had this question when we did this survey publicly for George. Uh, sorry, George is asking, I did not see this question. If you consent to releasing identifying information, please select yes. Oh, so I didn't update it. Okay. So here is the thing. This form, we usually, we have used it for uh, presentations or for sharing statistics outside. So we have a question about uh, releasing information from the form. In this case, I removed that uh, question because what we are completing is for us and we are gonna use it in the domain of this uh, of this session and this academy. And then uh, we, we will not use it for other purposes. So I, I thought it was easier to remove the question, but I can add it back. Sorry, and I forgot to edit the other part. Usually we, we launch this kind of survey globally through the community, and then we update our statistics, etc. And then it's kind of a different approach. Actually, some of you have completed it already as part of that. So where was that text? Was it in the intro? I'm here. Oh, yes, it was the first question, actually. 
Yeah, it says approximately 10 minutes because it had more questions. I have also simplified it. Yeah, thank you, George. Sorry, I prepared this quite late yesterday. Because I hope it doesn't take 10 minutes the way it is now. Actually, I could have removed the email. I think it's collecting emails as the first step. I'm not sure we didn't need that in this context. Usually, we add the email as well because uh, we may get back to you <clears throat> if we wanted to share, if we wanted to propose your story to be documented as a user story to be shared. Do you have a problem, yeah. Stephen, is doing the exercises, the daily surveillance? I can only see those. So your program disappears. So probably something uh, with your user. If you can share your student number, I think Jose can give you a hand. Okay, so I hope you can uh, keep on completing your forms. Um, and then we will uh, review the, the responses after our participants share with us their projects. So I think we, we can already start with Bridget and Bamoy Mohammed. Are you are you ready? Raise your hand if you are ready and then we will allow you for presenting and okay. So you are on mute now and can you share your screen? It's going to stop the recording and start a new one so that we separate them. Okay. Okay. Um. 